Hi folks, as promised I've started work on the LED fans and what I wanted to do was rather than take these out and get the LEDs in I thought I'll try it out first on an 8mm fan I had lying around, so an 80mm fan because I thought well I'm not too sure exactly where I'm going to run the cables, how I'm going to do this and I thought well this will give me a chance to experiment and try something out so I managed to get the, um, the LEDs in and you can probably see there uh, we've got them glued in place um, First time I've used a hot glue gun, and uh, <laughs> well, this was the last one I did, and uh, that's nice and neat, but the rest are a little bit messy, but it doesn't matter, because I'm probably going to cover those over with electrical tape or something anyway, and you can probably just see there a little bit of light pointing through, um, yeah, so we've got the four LEDs in uh, the four corners, uh, you can just see that one there, and I've just bent the, uh, the legs over. Um, and we're just going to have to run some wires somehow along the edge there. Um, you've got to make sure if you're going to do this, you don't push the LEDs in too far because you'll in, you'll stop the flow of the, um, of the of the fins on your fan. And that did cause me some trouble, but um, I managed to get them glued in place. And uh, I found the easiest way to make holes in your fans was not to use a drill or a Dremel, but to use a screwdriver, a brad awl and a screwdriver. So you make your hole with your brad awl and then just ream it out with a screwdriver. And I found that to be the easiest way, certainly much more precise. Um, it worked for me. So what I need to do now is, is really get this soldered up and wired up. Um, think a bit of how I'm going to do it. Possibly bring the, the wires in the same place as these are. Then maybe either bring one set across there and then another set that way. Or maybe run them all the way around and, and, and stop them on here or something. Um, it's going to be interesting. What I'll probably have to do is, is heat shrink these legs first. So far, leave a little bit that we're going to solder because we have to solder two wires, of course. Come on to each one, we've got to solder on, in, and then solder out round to the to the next one. Um, so, got to make sure I get my wires cut to the right length as well. So it's a bit of a fiddly job, um, but we'll see how we get on with it. My my front fans for this. At the moment, as I say, I've got that thermal tape multicolor in there. I've got some blue LED fans coming for that, some cool master blue ones. And I'm just going to swap out the blues for purples in that one. Hopefully that's going to be a little bit easier, rather than having to put them in from scratch like we have with these back ones. So we'll see what happens anyway. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll, we'll get on to the um, soldering. Hi folks, so this is it. My first ever homemade LED fan. Um, this isn't the best camera, I should have got the other camera out really, um, but basically I've got the wiring coming in here to this LED and then I'm sending it all the way back around, all the way back around to that one which is the last one. Um, the important thing with this is to make sure you've got your, your cables cut to length, if you get your wires cut to length it's a lot easier. Um, I put heat shrink on the legs of the um, LEDs as well before I actually soldered them, left some ends to solder onto, and it seems to have worked out okay. The thing to do now, of course, is to get it wired up and see if it actually works. Well, here it is, folks, all up and running. Um, I think on this it looks a little bit blue, uh, but certainly where I'm standing, there is our purple LEDs, and, um, well, I'm pleased about that. It's a very subtle effect, uh, but there's also a lot of light in here. I'm just wondering if I can uh, turn the light tone down a bit and maybe close the blinds. Aha! Yeah, absolutely brilliant. There we go. So a homemade LED fan. Well, it's not that difficult, to be honest. You just need a little bit of patience. Really, just to make sure that uh, you know you get everything cut to the right size. Just be careful when you're stripping the wires and everything. And, um, well, that uh, bodes well for the future of the project. I think uh, the next step is to really now do it for the uh, fans in the back, which you now can't see because it's too dark in here. But uh, those clear fans, I think, will produce a very different effect, probably a richer, more fuller effect. But uh, for the time being, that looks good. And, uh, well, keep watching for more updates.